two laps to go now. Leading it out here at the front is Hashimoto, who's one of the riders, remember, who was in that group of seven. Bell rings there as we go into the final lap now. Attacking and making his move is Roy Efting. He wasn't in that original group, so we're looking behind. Denz is trying to come around as well. There's Tidball, who's out the game for the win. You've got several riders in here. It's trying to spot the first across the line. And there we go, number 70 may well be Hashimoto here we're looking at. I have a feeling that Hashimoto might have taken the win there, but we're going to have to check on the replay, Joe, because as you stated, that got very, very messy in the end. And it can only be those seven in a bunch of riders. Yeah. Of course, it is worth sprinting for the others because... Hmm. Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, I wear this jersey first day. Uh, it is a uh, yeah still I can still I can believe that I'm really happy to wear this jersey. Yeah. They it's need to keep going. Richardson looks to be tiring. It's Williams who's going out for the win. The bell rings. Archibald over there, but there are chasers as well. 42 in the chase is Stenberg of Norway. We know how good she is. It's Lily Williams as Archibald comes up to turn three. Williams is hanging on. Williams looks like she will hang on. She'll take the win. It's a sprint for second, and it's won just about by Katie Archibald. Stenberg was in there, I think, in third place as well. Victory, though, for Lily Williams of the United States of America. 20 points and an early league lead. And Lily Williams going deep. 190 beats per minute for that's max heart rate. Lafresson, who's being forced to do the chasing here by Richardson. One lap to go, and the remain still has that gap. Are we about to see a big shot? Look at the acceleration, though. They're flying towards him. They zip around him. Turn three, turn four. It's Lavresen, Lavresen, and Lavresen going all the way to the final. Harry Lavresen won. Matthew Richardson nil. Shock. It's not easy, given the fact it is one on one, as Joe was saying. He can't hide and hope he's looking at the other rider here. Lavresen's focus is fully on the Frenchman. It is De Reich who's going to lead it out, but we know that Lavresen doesn't dislike this. If he can get in the slipstream here, put in the power, he will still be favourite. But it's the Frenchman who takes that bell lap. He goes through the 200-metre line as well, but here comes the flying Dutchman, Harry Lavresen, sailing past the competition, and the world champion looking every little bit like it as he takes his first 20-point haul of this year's UCI Track Champions League. And 17 watts to beat Zonderhash and take the early lead in the Champions League. Yeah, I couldn't wish for more. It was uh, really well and I was really happy at, yeah, with how every sprint went, actually. Yeah. How do you come into these, uh, this league uh, mentally after a World Championships this is Olympic year. Yeah. Some of the riders have chosen not to come here and focus on the preparations. What is your thinking coming into to this Track Champions League? Yeah, actually, it is already my third season doing the league, and uh, I really, I really like to race. That's first of all. So uh, I, I like to do these races, and uh, I, I really had a long run up to the, till the World Championship. It was like four months of only training. So uh, actually, I was really happy I could have some more races now. And I think uh, yeah, these races are really good for uh, for next year Olympics. Like. Yeah, feeling the yeah, trying the tactics. But yeah, feeling, yeah, feeling the sprint leads. It's, it's uh, I think it's really good. A couple of riders at the back, but it's not always those last riders who are in danger. If they've got space to move up, and there's a massive crash. Oh my word! And this is going to take some sorting out. Press pause on it. This is going to take some real sorting out. And what a disastrous way to begin things in the elimination in the UCI Track Champions League. And, you know, he might have thought for a moment that he might have been able to get around it, but as everybody else crashed as well, you can see going right up the track that... Yeah, we're talking about Claudio Imhoff and what a horrible year he's had with a crash and an injury as well. He was one of the riders down there. So most of the riders have gone back into the track centre now, away from these replays. And that's Falk as well. I hope everything's, everyone's all right. I think everyone looks to be fine. It's just, just lost a bit of skin. Bell rings. 
chance hit ball to make its move. That scratch world champion. Part of the metal table topping great British squad in Glasgow, but he's going to lose his place here. Bivik is back and he's going to do it again in the UCI Track Champions League. His opponent applauds. Victory for Canada. But she's up against Anita Stembo. Now the bell rings. Archibald waits, tries to move, can move, takes the position on the front. Here goes the gap, it's opening up, and this is a foregone conclusion now. Katie Archibald able to celebrate, riding in her first race win of this 2023 Champions League, and you're looking at your first Champions League leader. Race win and the jersey. What a start to the 2023 edition for the British star. Love testing out new things in the races and the, the boost that you get from your confidence when something comes off. And to be here with my teammates and we debrief afterwards and say, did you see this? Did you see that? And then when I, you know, it, there's a, a real satisfaction to that. And yeah, I, I hope to get that feeling every weekend. A long, long way from the finish. The bell though will now ring. It's Lendl who's there. It's Quintero at the front. Lavresen's making his move. Richardson goes wherever he goes. Quintero's still there, but they're gaining. The stars are on him. Quintero in front, but here comes Lavresen. And Harry Lavresen bouncing back, arriving in Mallorca and grabbing back the lead leader's jersey. Uh, delight for Labres and Sanders at the front of the rainbow bands by Yorna knows it's an important wheel to follow. She does follow it. Hoopster now up into third wheel. She's got a little bit of a gap to close to get in on the act as well, but Andrews isn't budging right now. By Yona barging forward, bursting onto the back wheel of Andrews, but the world champion still stays there, going all the way to the line. And Elise Andrews, despite the challenge from Marta by Yona, holds on, takes the win, honors the rainbow stripes, and as victorious in Bayern. It's a good mix of riders. Lavresen with the clearest advantage of anybody yet. He takes his moment. He's used to pulling on the championship and leaders jerseys. As is Archibald. And for the other two, well, it's a new experience for Hashimoto and for Puckster. So they all get their moment. Question is who will be doing this a week today. From now, from Spain, from Mallorca, the Balearic Islands, we head to the German capital, Berlin.